Welcome back. It's still the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, uh, to our first major discussion right here on the breakfast. Uh, federal High Court in Abuja um, yesterday barring the federal government uh, from further making deductions from the Federation account to fund the Nigeria Police Trust Fund. Now, not just the Nigeria Police Trust Fund, but the other institutions that are not listed in the Nigerian constitution, if you look, uh, take a look at the Nigerian constitution, you have the statutory institutions recognized by the Nigerian constitution. Now, this is after the River State government filed a suit in May 2020, challenging the planned deductions and uh, law on which it was premised. Now, the Police Trust Fund, Fund is not a creation of a Nigerian constitution, but a creation of the National Assembly through the enactment of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund Establishment Act, which came into force in 2019. And delivering judgment uh, in this suit, the trial judge, Ahmed Mohammed, declared as illegal, unlawful, and unconstitutional the direct allocations made so far by the federal government from the Federation account to fund the Nigeria Police Trust Fund. What does this judgment mean for governance and fiscal federalism in Nigeria? To help us answer this and other burning questions on this issue, we'd like to welcome and say good morning to um, Mr. High King Esquire, a human rights advocate who's reaching us all the way from River State and Port Hackett to be precise. Uh, Mr. King, good morning to you. Good morning, Kofi. Thank you very much. Now, you are a, a well-known lawyer in River State. Um, um, this is not the first time the River State government has taken the federal government to court over fiscal issues, of us financial issues. Um, what, what's going on? Why do we always have the River State government in court uh, with the federal government over monetary issues? Well, um, I, I am not um, surprised. But it's a good one because uh, the global meltdown has uh, made um, some uh, state government and some other, even the federal government, to begin to think outside the box. Because uh, you would agree with me, it is because of the economic meltdown that uh, the local government, state government, and the federal government, they are looking for ways to generate a, a fund. Uh, because uh, what uh, they are doing now is because they are looking for money. That, that there is nothing wrong with that. Thank God for that. I think I like that this is one of the positive aspects of the uh, economic meltdown uh, or globally, and Nigeria too in particular. I think this is a very good way. It has made them to begin to realize that they can make money from other sources. Because these things have been going on for years. Nobody queries it and nobody challenged it. So because they felt that um, they are not getting enough what they should get and why should this be happening. So answering your question is a good one. There is nothing wrong with it. Uh, I commend the River State government. I commend everybody that is able to challenge the status quo, challenge what has been going on for years uh, right now. Thank God for them waking up from their slumber. Uh, um, this is not the first time the River State government is taking, like we said earlier, the federal government to court over fiscal issues. We can remember the tussle. This is still ongoing over VAT collection. Um, but we have 36 states in Nigeria. All these states have attorneys general. So if even if we, the governors are not lawyers, they don't have a uh, legal background like yes, or we or River State, we, they still have ad, can have advice. I'm not uh, just yeah. you perfectly. Okay, can you hear me now, there's Mr. King? There's a home back. Oh, sorry about not, that. Uh, there's a whole back and there in. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But can you hear me now, Mr. King? Come again. Can you hear me now, please? Okay, I hear you. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So, so um, we have 36 states in the country. Even if the governors are not lawyers like Wiki, they have attorneys general who can advise them. How come this has been going on and nobody has made any noise? And it's, it's Wiki who is now, you know, <laughs> doing that and winning this victory that other states will benefit from. To take the bull by the horn, everybody won't be complacent. Uh, everybody won't be complacent. So it's a good one. Maybe Wiki has decided to uh, go ahead and do uh, what others uh, are shying away from doing. I think it's commendable on his part. It's very, very commendable. Okay, like I said, the economic challenges have uh, made them to begin to look for how to make money. Because when they had their first money, some of these uh, bad issues, they didn't bother about them, they didn't want to look into all those areas because they're having a lot of money. But now there is no money. It happens even individuals 
Sometimes uh, I let my tenants be in the house without even remembering that uh, their rent has expired. But when I don't have my dad, I say, oh, no, 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 no. This man has not paid. This man has not paid. Go and, go and look for him. Go and look for him. So it's like that. I think uh, because uh, lack of money is making them do uh, what they are doing. And the and mutual is taking the bull by the horn. Commendable, commendable, commendable. Okay, but let's also talk about the constitutionality of um, the, the deductions now. Because uh, according to the government of River State, they're saying that this is unlawful, being that you have the PTF, not the creation of the constitution. And what is the implication for state government, uh, local as well, that have to be dependent on the federation account for the handouts that come? So what, what is the implication of all of these on these other tiers of government? It's very good right now. It's, uh, the indication is that um, they will begin to do the right thing. That you have done the wrong thing or done the, done the wrong deduction for a long time does not make it right. That um, the hand of a, a monkey has been inside the pot for a long time does not make it a human hand. It is still a monkey's hand. So even when you pretend that it is a human hand, it can never be a human hand. So, uh, what is going to happen now is that uh, this year the government will get more money. Because when the state gets more money, uh, he will not give more money to the local government. And this will cut across. So, what we tell is doing for is for the whole Nigeria. It's not for River State alone. Like I said, it's commendable. Commendable, the situation has made them to wake up. Circumstances have made the uh, nature to wake up. Because he has been there since he didn't do it. But um, when the economic crunch continues, uh, it has to do it. It's commendable. I commend them. I commend them. I commend them for that. So the implication is, is very fantastic. It's good. It's good for everybody. It's good for all of us. Some of them will have more money. Although the argument has been made that uh, some of them will also have more money to embezzle. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Mr. King, um, you know, the, the, the governor of River State of has, has had this judgment um, in his favor. Uh, it, it has implications for the rest of the country, like you're saying. The different tiers of, of government will have more money uh, to be able to, to share, or there will be no deductions going to the police trust fund from the federation uh, accounts. Um, what do you say? What do you think this this means? This judgment means um, for the ongoing debate on restructuring. You know, issues surrounding VAT states are tackling on or taking on the federal government, not just River State, but also Lagos, which has been in that battle for some time. Um, and now we have this one on non-constitutionally recognized government agencies like the Police Trust Fund or government contributions. What does this say or what impact does this have on the ongoing clamor and agitation to have uh, a restructured federation where um, the, the component units have a greater control of their uh, natural resources and financial affairs? I think um, it's part of the restructuring that we are talking about. Let me do a little, a little explanation about these constitutional issues. Constitution of Nigeria, 19, uh, 1999, uh, as amended, is the grand norm. It is the overall law in Nigeria. It does not mean that other laws are not recognized. No, it doesn't mean that other laws are not recognized. Other laws, whether federal or state laws, are laws. Even local government laws are laws. They are to be obeyed. But what where the lawyers are saying, or what the law says, is that the Constitution, being the modern norm, a grand norm, the overall norm, the overall law, the, the, the almighty law, every other law you make must be subservient to the Constitution, must be under the Constitution. It must not go outside what the Constitution says. So that is why the courts are mandated, are under obligation to implement the Constitution. Now, if other laws, for instance, and the, the constitution clashes, the constitution takes precedence. If the law of the federation, for instance, clashes with the state, the federal law takes precedence. If the state law clashes,
clashes with that of the local government, the state law takes precedence in that order, like seniority, senior brother, father, mother, senior brother, senior sister, and so on and so forth. That is how it is. All of them are laws. None of them are inferior. We are only saying, if you go contrary to what the Constitution says, this is it. Now, I have not read that judgment, but what I think from what I just saw in the media is, uh, this thing you are, this deduction you are doing, you ought not to deduct it from the Federation account. You ought not to deduct it directly from the Federation account where all of us are sharing from. Now it's like this, there is a deep pot where the 36 wives comes to collect soup every day. Now, these 36 wives will come to, Nigeria 36, uh, okay, comes there, I'm giving an analogy now, come to this pot to collect soup every month. And this uh, soup inside this deep pot is shared among these 36 wives. Now, the pot itself have other, where he takes his own, his own, the, the pot itself, we have the reserve inside there. After he's due to the 36 wives, the pot will also have a reserve there. The pot also has responsibility to other children that the pot has outside the 36 children. Maybe some uh, concubines. I'm just giving the analogy. Now, you, we, are not, we are saying that the pot, when you collect your own, take from there and give to your concubine. Don't take from this pot straight. When you take from this pot, you give to this your concubine, you now come and share. Our ration will reduce. That is what they are saying. Okay. So the, the, the police fund and some other agencies are made to be funded by the federal government. Mm -hmm. And the federal government will fund that one from their own allocation, not from this central post. Central post, where all of us are to share from. Okay. Because if we have um, 36 billion to share in a month, and you remove, okay, we have 40 billion, for instance, and you remove, you remove um, 2 billion to give to this your concubine, and you now share 36, uh, we now have 38 to share. 38, we, know, we may not be able to get 1, 1 billion each. But if you leave the 40 billion inside the pot, you give us 36 billion. You can now use the 4 billion and give to your concubine. So you don't share from the central port first. That is what they are saying. All right. Inter inter that interesting. So that law yeah. is good. Mr. King, uh, uh, interesting. Yes. Um, the, the, the trial judge cited you know, uh, section 162 of the 1999 constitution, uh, which um, recognizes only the federal, state, and local governments uh, as far as the federal allocation uh, of federal accounts are concerned. Also, um, uh, section uh, four of the Nigerian constitution as well. But but exactly. River State, this is not the first time River State has, um, uh, the, a River State governor has led, you know, has been at the forefront of trying to ensure that um, the federal government does not dip its hands into the the the, the pool of funds that should go to the states, and they've tried to to make the government at the center do the right thing. I think you have, you clearly remember um, uh, Rotimi Amechi as uh, chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum, leading the charge yeah. against Goodluck Jonathan and his attempt to dip his hands, the federal government's hands, into and take from the excess crude account. Uh, I, I'm sure you remember that uh, that episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So. And, but but the, 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 the point being made by the federal government then under President Goodluck Jonathan was that um, some of these funds were needed for things that would even benefit the state. So uh, my next question to you is the issue of, um, of um, national interest. Um, the Nigeria Police Trust Fund is not going to serve policemen in Abuja alone. They're going to serve policemen all over the country. Um, we're looking at a time when the Nigerian government is trying to increase the number of policemen to, to match up with the increasing population. We have uh, uh, the ratio is not is, is below the recommended ratio of a policeman to the populace. So, so shouldn't the issue of national interest also be a priority to say, okay, let's let's contribute. In the same way, some state governors take 
money from the local government accounts and say, okay, uh, chairman of local government A, this is money I'm taking. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. King. They do this. I don't want to talk about River State because I don't have evidence. I won't go there. But they do these things to local government chairman. And the chairman keep quiet. And so it is in the interest of um, the state. Okay, if we uh, are going to take the money for, let's say, um, uh, 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 sanitation, this should be a local government affair. And then to fund the state sanitation agency, that's government is helping us. So shouldn't the states be looking at this as an issue of national interest, sir? That is what we are saying, Koshi. You see, when you uh, perpetuate, uh, perpetuate uh, in, uh, injustice, and on the other uh, hand, you are asking for justice, it's difficult. But we in the human rights uh, community, even when you are perpetrating injustice this way, uh, with, one, with your right hand, you are perpetrating injustice, and with the left, you are asking for justice. We will ask, we will support you on your left to ask for justice. And on the right, we will condemn you for perpetrating injustice. That is what we do in the human rights community. I agree with you that the governors are guilty of what they are asking the federal government to do. They are all guilty. They siphon, they intimidate local government. And which of the local government has risen up? People in River State. Have you seen any of them rising up to challenge the status quo? One of them met me some time ago that he wanted to challenge the status quo. We agreed. And I said, okay, I gave him my deals, and we agreed to, so, okay, go and get a document, let us start uh, the firewall. They ran away. He told me that they have prevailed on him, that he should not challenge the governor and all that. I said, well, go and rest now. Because as a lawyer, if I don't have a plan, I cannot go to court on my own. I'm not a local government chairman. I'm telling you, River State, one of them approached us. We have agreed. But well, you chickened out. But we can't have the boldness to do what he's doing. And I commend him for that. I am but not a condemn. He's very good. I want him to even take more initiative because what he's doing will also trickle down at a point. So, so, I'm just so, a question whether police is not for national interest. We are not saying police is not for national interest. We are saying that the Constitution did not say you should take the money from federation account. That is what they are saying. The so, federation account, share the money, follow the law, follow due process. We are not saying you should not. Now, if you, federal government has its own money. Federal government has its own money that is from that spot that we are talking about. When you share, after sharing, Federal government still have surplus money. They still have their money. From there, you fund the police. That is what it should be. The Constitution, the framework of the Constitution knows what it is. So let, let us follow the Constitution. Even if it is faulty, even if the Constitution is not good, even if the Constitution is... Um, let's that. also talk about the fact, um, Mr. It. King, can we, can we yes. also look at the issue you have talked about due process? Due process is one thing that has not been respected, uh, you know, looking at the Nigerian exactly. government at different quarters. I mean, you talk about obeying the law. First of all, the question is, why would the government want to deduct from, the, from, you know, from funds from the Federation account where um, the Constitution does not give them the right to do that? So you can imagine the deductions that have been going on and how long these deductions have been going on and different deductions that people cannot account for or people have not talked about. So um, that's on the one hand. So what's the, what, what difference does he make now that the River State government has raised this concern? Is there a possibility that the federal government will stop this deduction? Does it make any sense? Would there be a case of restitution? Or it, it, would there be a law that would check the government, the excesses, at the end of the day? And also, on the other hand, you want to ask yourself, with the PTF fund that is created, which is not you know, a creation of the, the Constitution, however, but you also have the National Assembly, a uh, creation of the National Assembly. Are there no legal frameworks on how this, um, you know, the PTF trust fund should be funded and how they should generate revenue or revenues that should come to them as a trust fund? No, there is now. Yeah, we're, we're not even saying that the PTF is not constitutional. Because the body that created the PTF is a constitutional body. And they are empowered to so do. So, they, it's the constitution. It's constitutional. 
The PTS is constitutional. Every other, but every other thing created by the National Assembly or the State Assembly are constitutional. But what we are saying is that the deduction, they are not saying that they are not constitutional. You cannot even function if you are not a constitutional body. If they are constitutional, they are, they are recognized. The constitution recognizes them. But what they are saying that what the judges are saying is that this deduction ought not to be taken from the federation account. Answering your question, there is always how to fund them. You cannot create a body and uh, you don't have how to fund them. You just uh, create them and they just go and uh, no. Just like we have the task force in River State. I have not seen their, how they were created by the House of Assembly. There is no law about them. Young men are just gathered, sent to the streets. They are killing people, injuring people, impounding people's cars, harassing people. Going with data, going with standards, going with pliers, destroying, maybe people on the street. That is what we are saying. That's what they are not constitutional. If you are going to the state of assembly, enacted the law, and organize them well, they must have the salary structure. You must tell us how you are going to fund them. Not to say go to the street, go and go and, go and make money. No, to settle the boys. No, that is not the issue with uh, the future. They are recognized by law. They are quite constitutionally recognized. There's nothing wrong about it. They are okay. saying that the way they are going to be funded is from the federal government. The federal government has a way of funding them. They give money to the police IG now. There's money to be given to the police IG. Where he gets his money? They are saying that the constitution, what the constitution has not permitted, don't do it. Okay, Follow Mr. King. Rule of law. Yeah, Mr. Follow King, we, ha we have to go. We have Our to go. The constitution is faulty, no yes. doubt. Yes. I am part of the bill that says this constitution should be yanked up and thrown away. Okay. Mr. King, we, ha we have to pull the plugs on this one, Mr. King, because of time. Um, we have to go, Mr. King, but one wonders if this is the, the what the constitution says, you know, the um, uh, section 4 um, of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund was, was created in terms of funding, and you have section 126 of the Nigerian constitution looking at which agency should be funded from the federation accounts. How come the National Assembly did not know or did not take that into consideration? We want to thank you very much uh, for your time and you uh, for much. your expert analysis on this subject matter this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Hi, King Esquire is a human rights advocate joining us live from the city of Potaka River State. When we come back, NNPC presents a three trillion naira fuel subsidy bill to the federal government at the Federal Executive Council. We look at that with a guest analyst ahead on the breakfast. Stay with us.